Oh, your intake begins. We're cutting the plants of the intake, OEM intake, so we can install it in, in this intake, so we can use it in the car. Angelito is, is doing that here. We're in Angelito's house. Angelito's shop. Putting all this. Well, uh, we already cut it. As you can see, you saw uh, previously, we, we got this flange from this intake. This is the OEM intake for the Tiburon. And we took a little, uh, cut this from here. You can see, because we're gonna be using an Evo 8 uh, intake manifold, and we're gonna be using this flange and we're gonna be welding the the intake manifold to this flange the only thing is that these ports are really small and you can see here the difference in color this is where the gasket goes and this that's the the amount of material that we have to take off to in order to match the cylinder head uh, and the flange to the into the evo 8 intake so i'm going to show you now the Evo 8. Look at it, guys. This is the Evo 8 uh, intake manifold. This is a 80 millimeter, 80 millimeter uh, throttle body. And this is what we are going to be using on the Tiburon because this is a, it's going to be uh, giving the engine more volume of air so we can squeeze more, more power from it. So, as you can see, we already. And a little already weld, weld, welded the flange. This is the, the OEM flange for the Tiburon and it's welded to the intake. Uh, we, this intake, uh, these runners are a, a little bit longer. We took uh, like an inch, right? Like an inch from each runner? Yeah. Yeah, we took like an inch of, from each runner. So because it, 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 these runners are, they are too long. And if you put the intake like that, it's gonna hit the firewall. So right now, it feels really good. It's like an inch between the firewall and the intake. And you can see here, I already poured it. Port match. I port match the gasket. And now uh, I'm working on the cylinder head to match the cylinder head to this. I need a, a template, a cardboard template. Uh, because the cylinder head that we are using is a Beta 2 engine, but it's a cylinder head for a 2002 uh, Elantra. And that head has a, the ports are a lot bigger. I'm gonna show you the difference between the, the this is the template for the, for the Elantra head. Look at this. Look at the difference between those two ports. Yeah, did you said that the changing color? Yeah, this is this is the the port size for for the engine for the Beta One head, and also the 2008 head is it, it comes with the same the same uh, size on the ports, and this this is not a port head. This is the the OEM size for the Elantra Two head. So only putting the Elantra head. You are, it is the same as you port the OEM uh, head for the 99 or 2008 heads. So, as you can see, there is a big difference. And it's this big difference is gonna be uh, putting more air into the, into the engine. So the engine is gonna breathe more air. So it's gonna burn more fuel. It's gonna make more power. So saying that, I'm going to show you something. 
I've been working on the head. I'm gonna show you now because I also do port head, head porting. And this is the new head because we had to change the previous, the head that the car had when, when it was in the dyno. We bought it on the, on the junkyard and we didn't realize but uh, the head was cracked and it was putting water into the cylinders. When we cranked the engine it, just, it, it didn't sound right, really good. But we found this other head, we went to the junkyard and bought this other head and we are working on it and see this. We are, we are doing a port job on this one. This, this one on the it's intake it's size is already ported. It's what I did, I took the, uh, the cardboard. You put the cardboard in, in, in top here and with the hammer, you're going to tap all the bolts, all the bolts, and you're going to uh, get the exact, the exact uh, pattern of the bolts. And then you, you, with the same hammer, you're going to be tapping in the ports and you're gonna get the exact template for the, the intake. Now you can see, this is not OEM. Uh, it needs a little bit more work, but you can see there is uh, is ported. We took all the imperfection of the head. We enlarged this area here because this area has a, a home by factory. And we match the, the seats. So uh, all the air is gonna flow freely without any restrictions. That's what the porting is all about. This is not, we, we didn't enlarge these holes. It, this is the OEM size for the ports. We only, the only thing we did here was uh, clean all the casting imperfections and clean all the port and to do better flow. When we did this, we then, I then I took this template and put it on the intake and you can see it's matching we use i put bolts and nuts and secure the 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 template to the to the intake and we port match and now when you put the intake on the head the two the two connecting parts is gonna be this they are gonna be the same there's no humps or or steps or anything that can cause the disturbance on the air so the air is gonna flow freely to the ceiling, to the piston, to the combustion chamber. Plus, this is gonna be, this is gonna look really, really good. Look at it. I'm gonna put it here. And now you can see here the cylinder head, and you can see, you can see the port there, and the union of the intake manifold and the head, and it's almost ident identical. That's gonna give a lot of power to the engine because there, the air, the air is gonna flow freely to the combustion chamber okay so that's that with this and now we are working on the exhaust side because if you, you we are giving more volume and more efficiency to the intake size side but we have to do the same to the exhaust side because the air enter freely to the engine it has to come out freely to the engine from the engine also this is what we are doing the, here, uh, the, from factory, it has a hump. We are eliminating the hump and we are putting it flat. We are and we are taking out the the part of the top of the guide here. So it's gonna be uh, flowing more air without any disturbance. And and the only the only thing we need to do is I have to bring the the manifold and the gasket to port to port match it, everything. So when the, when I put the manifold here, it's gonna be the same uh, as the intake. No homes, no anything. Everything is gonna flow freely and efficient. Because remember, an engine is a, a air pump. Uh, if you bring a lot of air to the engine, you have to take it out. And if, when you do it more efficiently. You're gonna move more air, so the, the car the other car is gonna make more power. So that's that. We're gonna be continue. I'm gonna be doing uh, finishing this part and porting all the head, so we can finish the head. Now we are working on the exhaust side 
we already finished with the intake uh, and as we did the intake so the the head is gonna breathe a little bit more air through the intake uh, intake side so we need to work the exhaust side so the air can go as freely as it's going into in the head so because if not you're gonna create a back pressure here in the back side of the head and that's not good so now I'm using like in the other side I'm using the the exhaust uh, gasket as a template uh, I put these nuts here so it can it's gonna be uh, it's not going to move it be moving anywhere and I'm I'm getting the port at the same size of the of the gasket and that's what it's gonna do is that it's gonna match the exhaust manifold is already ported through uh, through the gasket so when we when I married when I put together the, the two parts they're gonna match and there's no there's not going to be uh, humps or steps and the air is gonna fr flow freely freely from the intake to the exhaust I'm gonna be finishing this with the handy dandy tool this is the pouring tool uh, I'm gonna be finishing the exhaust with this and then I'm gonna be polishing everything with with this with, this, with the sands sand grits this this has different grits hard and soft so we I can uh, soft everything here and it's gonna be almost pull, uh, as a polished surface Well, now we are gonna be rectifying all the marks that the carbide tool left in the port in the aluminum. So we are using this one. No, this one. No. <laughs> I need the the hard one. You can see there are two different grids. Three three different grids. Hard, medium, hard, medium, and, and soft. So now we are using this one, the hard one, to get all the imperfections that the carbide bit the, uh, leaves in the port, in the aluminum. Look at the difference. Smooth and polished. It's not polished yet, but it's smooth. And we have a lot of humps there. Make sure you buy enough of these ones because uh, we're gonna be using one per port. Now uh, we, we want to put the head to the sandblasting in the booth so we can clean everything up really good and get rid of because uh, because Alejandro wanted super clean, super clean so he wants the head with sandblasting. Okay, the porting job is done. Uh, I already finished with that. Now, uh, the next step is to uh, grind uh, all the valves to ensure that the valve seals uh, really good. Then we're gonna be installing back the springs and retainers and 
bow things and then take the the head to the machine shop so they can resurface the the part the in the, the bottom part so make sure this is not worked or anything uh and it, it came out really good the port job came out really good i hope uh i hope or i think it's gonna help the engine i, I think we, we're gonna achieve the 400 horsepower right now uh with the stock internals and see uh, how it runs so guys uh, stay tuned for the next chapter uh, it's gonna be good we're gonna be installing the head again all the, the the new turbo and everything so i'm taking it to the dyno so stay tuned for the next videos because uh that's gonna be fun so guys remember if you dream of it work for it and make it happen see you in the next one